Black Flash, a being that transcends even the fastest beings in the entire universe. Doesn't matter how fast you are, the Black Flash is always quicker. Even beings like Barry Allen, Johnny Quick, and Savitar were no match for his speed. The world's fastest man succumbed to death one by one, and no amount of speed could prevent this. Wally West, a walking dead man, is the current Flash. Until recently, he had developed a weird connection to an energy field recognized as the Speed Force. With this connection, he could outrun even photons. However, he lost this ability after his girlfriend Linda's death. Apparently, he was supposed to die in place of Linda, but he was at the wrong place at the wrong time and managed to survive. Instead of him, Black Flash took Linda's life. Now he's back to rectify the only mistake he has ever made. With no connection with the Speed Force, Wally stands no chance against him. After hurling a trash can towards him, Wally took to his toes and jumped into the luggage belt. According to Max Mercury, Black Flash slows down time for any being that is not connected to Speed Force. With this in mind, there is no one out there who can stop him. He had realized that sliding down the luggage belt won't save him for long. He needs to use his brain and devise a plan. He somehow managed to escape by stealing someone's clothes. However, Black Flash recognized him in no time and approached him from behind. In the midst of all this, Jay appeared out of nowhere and saved him. He told him that Max observed a disturbance in the Speed Force when Black Flash arrived in their dimension and gathered all of them. Wally warns him that they cannot defeat Black Flash and that he won't leave without killing anyone. Jay, however, ignored his words like, I ignore my responsibilities and locked him in a room. According to him, Max Mercury is perhaps the oldest superhero out there. But for someone to live this long, luck is a huge contributing factor and it was bound to end one day. Following this, all he did was run and buy something to figure out a way. After some time, he got exhausted and asked Jesse to take over this role. Jesse did the same as Jay and managed to distract him for a while. After throwing some knives at Jesse, Black Flash diverted his attention to Max, who was having a hard time dodging his lightning-fast punches. Wally, on the other hand, was trying his very best to break the door and set himself free. He knows that death isn't something you can reason with. It'll keep coming at you until you're too tired to run. Jay and the other speedsters were trying their very best to stop Black Flash. However, there is nothing they could do. They had realized this distraction tactics would not work anymore. They need to devise a new strategy. Even physical attacks had no effect on him. With all of this going on, Max punched Jesse and rendered him unconscious. He had witnessed enough of this world and now it was time for him to sacrifice himself for his friends. With all of this going on, Wally appeared out of nowhere and diverted Black Flash's attention to himself. With no other option left, Wally decided to travel further in time. With each passing year, the distance between them shortened. Following 20 billion years in the future, Black Flash had finally managed to reach him and tried grabbing his head. But Wally knew what he was doing. 20 billion years in the future, the universe ceased to exist, and there was no concept of death itself, even at a conceptual level. This marked the end of death and Black Flash. Theoretically, Wally should be the happiest man on Earth as he managed to save his friends. However, None of this matters anymore without Linda, and a home to go back to. He started crying as he thought about Linda and how he cannot live a single second without her. Meanwhile on Earth, Jay and others realized that Wally had managed to defeat Black Flash. However, they feared that he won't be coming back as there is no home for him here. In short, he committed suicide. As they were conversing, Wally appeared alongside Linda. He had somehow managed to save her by traveling back in time. Jay and the others congratulated him and thanked him for what he had done for them. With all of this over, Wally took Linda to see her grave. He also told him about Superman and the other heroes who attended her funeral and delivered a speech. Following this, he proposed Linda in a freaking graveyard. He noticed that Linda was not happy with this, so he took her to Paris in an instant and proposed again. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel.